All right, motherfucker, we back. <clears throat> I got sent this shit by my boy. He said, blind react to it. And it's called Levels, the basic version. Basic version by Homad. Apparently, this shit blew his fucking mind to some bullshit. So let, let's, let's fucking see what the fuck this shit's about. Levels, the base, basic, basic version. I, we gonna see if there's a harder one after this shit. But by Homad. We gonna, we, gonna, we gonna see, we gonna see, we gonna see. What, what are they yelling about? <laughs> Alright. Anyways, come on. So what the hell is this all about? This video is about levels of thinking. It is- Damn, he didn't even, like, damn! Levels of thinking. It is theor- I- I fucking suck. So what the hell- Alright, so we got spiral dynamics. We got- Oh yeah, this is fucking gibberish. What in the fuck is this? What the hell is this all about? This video is about levels of thinking. It is theoretical, which Keep is pushing. fascinating, and it also has colorful jokes. I use this diagram a lot in my videos because it helps explain some of the wild things that people say and- Where's the quality at? ...and do. It's based on the work of several researchers- I'm still booty. Can y'all see that? On my screen, this is fucking- Dog shit! What the fuck? Okay, I-, I shit. Trying to make it easier to read for a wider audience. This is my interpretation of a model of consciousness that I studied. It includes quadrants, levels, lines, states, and types. Today I'm talking about levels. I want to make a big, long video explaining each level in detail, but for this now I'm just gonna do this short version to get it out of the way and get the ball rolling. But before we get started, here are some misspelled vegetables, because I'm told that it helps if I'm cute. Here's a cactus. So, these levels are stages of psychological development. They- I'm just gonna start off by saying this man has lost his mind. I already know. He's lost his fucking mind, but we're gonna keep going. Developmental levels. Right. They have been studied by numerous researchers. Some of the most famous models come from Jean Piaget, here's a snapshot of his work, and Abraham Maslow, who had the hierarchy of needs. I'm gonna need a pause, because he's just, he's flashing these shits like I can read at a million miles a second, bro. What the fuck is good? Alright, I don't care. Let's everybody go. is born down here, and nearly everybody gets up to at least this stage by adulthood. There are many factors that determine how you will develop and when, Including your surroundings, your choices, your- Okay, hold on. I'm so worried because we're only a minute in and he's flashed so much information up on the screen and I don't- I haven't retained any of it. What the fuck is going on, bro? How- how? Culture and the brain you were born with. These are the quadrants. They are different ways of looking at reality. In this case, this would be your mind, your brain, your culture, and your society. They all happen at the same time because the mind is the brain and culture is a lot of minds and society is what those minds do. I should also say that people are never really in a level. You just slowly develop the ability to think at higher levels as you gain experience, but we all use the lower levels every day. When you have to use the bathroom, for example, that's a level one process. It's not a complex style of thought, it's just a feeling or an urge. So some people make it up to higher stages and some people never do. Most people on Earth spend most of their time in these four stages, and this one is only very common in modernized places. And it's the first stage where you can adopt a world-centered level of understanding. Which means understanding how people think the way they do based on where they're from. Before that level, there are right and wrong ways of thinking, so you would either be doing it right or you're not, and then they would say you're either doing it right or you're not. After that, it's more like, well- Bro, this is all fucking- What he's explaining is cultural relativism. Re re these braces are gonna give me an aneurysm. Cultural relativism. Motherfucker, man. Damn. Maybe I would think that way if I was from there, or maybe I would be more like you if I lived your life. That's where right. global thinking... Alright, I'm not gonna lie, bro. This video is mad long, especially with me pausing and, and commenting on a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna skip all the way to the end, where I break it down even more. And I just try to explain it as best as I can, you know, how I understand it. So we're going to jump straight to that. Perfect. All right. Check me out. So look, basically what he was saying, I'm going to break it the fuck down for you. Fuck the thickness. We're going to go one. Ew, what the fuck is that? So basically what he was saying was first, first level, let, let's put it in the perspective of like, 
we all we've all been to school. Hopefully. So you're in a classroom, right? You're in a classroom. This is you. Fuck, his leg is going up. Okay. Fuck you. This is you right here, alright? You're nice nice and nice and happy. Um the first one is just understand, like, you have your own thoughts. You need to take a shit, you gotta take a shit, you feel me? The second one is you understand the thoughts of others. So here, here is... Fuck. Let's get, let's get... Here's Jessica. There's Jessica, alright? This is, this is, this is... Oh, fuck. Go back. This is Pepe, and this is Jessica, right? So look, Pepe understands that Jessica sees shit differently, right? Or not, just has like her own views. Now we're going, gonna go into, oh, where, where are we at? The classroom. Yo. <laughs> so here's the teacher. Oh my God. All right, the teacher is Thomas. And Thomas has a teacher-student relationship. Bro, this made so much more sense in my head. It's it's that their relationship is student a, and teacher, and that is it. All right, that is it. With Jessica, right? But I, I also see this relationship that, that Thomas and Jessica have. All right? I understand that. I see that. Even though this is the teacher and this is a student. You feel me? I see their relationship. And I understand it. Fuck. What was the... F Fuck. I got it. So now... Now... The fourth per perspective is... Is Pepe being able to... To step... Back, right? He steps back. He's now... He's now... You know bigger person beautiful and he can see how all of this makes sense like how 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 all these people interact with each other and how that I don't want to say society I want to keep it down how the classroom works all the, like the classroom standards and shit you feel me he understands that the teacher Thomas has expectations for Jessica and might and might have different expectations for himself, right? I'm probably fucking this shit up so badly. All right, and then the fifth. That's how. And then okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. And then the okay, the fifth is now now fuck that. There are there are all these people over here. I'm so lazy. These people that all have a connection between themselves and Pepe is able to step back again. Right? Even bigger person now. He's able to step back again and see the views the how each how the different classrooms work all right he's able to see all of that now and and not only that he's able to compare the two he's able to compare the classroom that he's in compared to another classroom or maybe even you know two classrooms that he's not in you feel me he's able to understand that all right the sixth one wait the sixth one wait is the sixth one the one that i just explained the sixth one, fuck, I'm gonna have to go back. Hold on. So, I I went back. I think I explained number six and five together. That Pepe is able to step back and see all the classrooms and say and like different differentiate them and understand. Like let's say in in this classroom right here, they're allowed to have their phones out and take notes on their phone. But in in this classroom here. The phones have to go up in like a little thing and you're not allowed to have them. And he, and he understands that if one of these people moves over to this classroom and they complain, they're like, they're like, they're like, oh, but I'm able to have my phone in the other classroom. It's not that they're, it's not that this person right here is wrong. 
It's that they're from, you know, a different classroom. You get me? So now seven, seven is the time one. Seven, oh my God, bro. How can I even like, cause time is not like, uh, damn, what the fuck? I completely lost my train of thought. Anyways, we were at six. Uh, we were, I explained six about this, the person. Seven is the time. But not just the time. Wait, hold on. All right, seven, seven, hold on. Seven, seven was. I don't have space. So seven here is when Pepe is able to understand everything, all his history, right? From all like like the the decisions he he's made. You feel me? Don't, like, you know what that shit is, alright? And he's able to make decisions based off his history. And then eight... What's eight? Okay, so I'm almost sure that eight is literally just... Pepe is sitting here, right... Pepe is just sitting here, right? And he is able to see everything that has happened before, right? He's able to he's able to understand all of this and be aware of all the decisions being made. Like everything inside the circle, right? He understands why he made the decision at in like his past. He understands why this person and this person have a relationship and the decisions they make have you know, their own past behind them and all that. And then number nine is just, is, is just him being aware, aware that this is happening. I cracked the fucking code. GG too easy. I did it all on one piece of paper too. Didn't even use this shit. Cut this shit out. Didn't even use this. Um, yeah, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Um, I'm pretty sure anyone can reach any level. Like he said, it's like, it's a growth thing. It's a growth thing. You don't, you're not set in one level. There's not one, only like a max level you can reach. Well, I guess there's only nine levels, but you feel me? So like, I think me personally, Level 9 on God. On Jesus Christ. Mama boy. <clears throat> yeah, bro, but I don't know, man. I don't know. If you got any way, better, any better way to explain it, like 9, other than being able to understand the, all the shit before it, please let me know, because I'm fucking lost. At, no, at level 9, I'm lost. I'm not going to lie. Not really, but like a little bit. But like, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. I'm just gonna shut up. Anyways, <laughs> dollar motherfuckers, y'all ready though?